come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do.
Just introduce because some of these guys, um, some of them are not new around here, you know. Um, while maybe one might be new, you know. Yeah, but yeah. we have um, Gamir. Gamir, yes, yes. is it your first time? Not my first. Not time. your first time, right? So we are custom with Gamir, yes. you know. And and then we have Dragon, yeah. right? But we have a new guy on the new <laughs> kid on the block. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Who's that new kid? <laughs> and Travis. <laughs> Travis. Travis yeah, Hall. Yeah. 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 Um, so th this evening we are in for a great treat, and we welcome you. We welcome you. And pleasant Sabbath. Pleasant Sabbath. Pleasant Sabbath. Pleasant Sabbath. You know. Pleasant Sabbath, you know? Pleasant Sabbath, you know? Yeah. Well, well, folks, we welcome you, and we wish our online viewers a pleasant Sabbath. Remember, if we begin, we want you to like the page and to share the page. Yes, and when you like and you share, you know, just tell us I share. You know, um, can so that all of your friends can know. And, and, and be part of this special uh, program tonight, tonight, tonight. So we welcome you. And at this time, at this juncture, we are going to pause as we uh, pray. Um, Kelvin, you're going to pray for us, please? No yes, thank you. Let's bow our heads where we are as we reverence God. Most kind and gracious and eternal Father, we stop again to recognize you as creator and as God. And we know, Father, that we are feeble and there's so much things that we are unable to do in our own strength. But you ask, O oh God, that we put aside our ideologies and our thoughts and our pursuits, O oh God, and allow you, your Father, to work within us because you said that your burden, O oh God, is light. And your Father, even as we bring you life and the, the entire program and all the viewers to you, God, we ask that whatever comes forth from this session, O oh God, would be one that would uplift us, edify us, mold us, and fashion us into proper citizens suited, your Father, not only for this earthly kingdom, but even for your heavenly kingdom. Be with us and continue to strengthen us and guide us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to be back, you know. Yes, it Mr. seems Man. as if it has been a while yes. since. And some say, well, that's the end of us. That you know, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. You know, that, know, that can happen. You know, that, that can happen. That can happen, you know. Yes. But I was I was so taken up in preaching the word, you know. Yes. And, and and many other things, you know. Mm -hmm. Gamma, we just came from training on the campsite with yes. our master guys and PLEs. Yes. Right? And you, you yes. were there helping yes. us, you know. Yes. And, and, and so on, your daddy was there helping us. <laughs> So, so, so a lot of things, you know. But but this week I said I have to come back on youth live, you know, and get my feel and my read on because I realize real exciting things are happening, you know. Always. Um, last week it was golden and it was yeah, it was golden. Later, yeah, golden, you know, golden was on at some time before, yeah. And um, you know, they did you know exciting things are happening, yeah. Right? How was the week, guys? How was the week? How was the week? Well, the week was challenging, but it was great, eh? Yeah. I had a lot of success during this week, so yeah. praise God for that. Praise, praise God, God, yeah. That, praise yeah. God. Travis, what about you? My week was very exciting. Uh -huh. Yeah. Had a good time. We went around the island. We did this. We did that. Uh -huh. Water sculpture for the first time. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. I enjoyed my week. In touch with nature, yeah? yeah. Touch with nature. <laughs> right. Good, good. Yeah. Gary, what about you? Well, my week was, was quite cool. Uh -huh. yeah, I had a lot of work to do. Okay. And I got a lot of it done. I still yeah. have some more to do later. You know? uh, yeah, later. After. <laughs> later. after. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. right. But I'm not thinking about it. No, 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 no. We can come and we can forget all of that. Yes, of course. We can be here. We can fellowship together. Yeah. And we can worship God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. Well, you know, I, I just thank God for the Sabbath, you yes, know. Yes. The Sabbath is a wonderful time just to rest in the presence of the Lord, you know. Yes. And all the labors of the week, just leave them behind. Yes. I had a hectic week, really, really hectic, you know. I can't get into all of it, but I thank God for the Sabbath. Yes. yes. Thank, thank God, God for the Sabbath. Sabbath. Well, folks, you know, this evening we are discussing a very interesting topic. And we yes. want to lay the topic before you because we're going into a praise and worship session just yes. now. We'll be taking your request request you know and we have a special guest to come to join us later on so you, you can move a muscle all you have to do is to to stay right there you gotta like the page you gotta share um for our online viewers at youtube facebook you know you gotta stay there and remember like the page because it's a ministry where so many people here in grenada and around the caribbean and around the world are benefiting yes, yeah? nice. are benefiting and i know tonight you are going to benefit tremendously we are talking about let me tell you, it's the time when the school term is coming to an end yeah. and um, people are 
uh, are graduating yes, and, yes. and all of that, wearing the gongs and walking and you know, and all that kind of exciting thing. Time. Uh, exciting time, <laughs> so, to, so to speak, so to speak. Yes. And so, we are talking, we are going to be discussing tonight graduation okay. on the Sabbath and graduation models. All right, okay. wow. <laughs> very interesting topic. <laughs> very interesting yes, topic. Yes, yes. Very timely. Yes. Well, very timely. Very time. All right. Well, you better come good, you know, <laughs> tonight. So, so gather your thoughts, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Graduation on Sabbath and graduation balls. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're coming in a while, you know. But let's get into our praise and worship this evening. Yes, Dragon, we have. Who, who do we have? Let's we let's have call Rhonda Conwell, and she's asking for us to do him number eighty-eight. Number eighty-eight. Yeah, oh, guys, it's the guys that's singing tonight, Pastor. All right. Well, <laughs> let's go, guys. We are well in. <laughs> More than evil. Yes. I sing the mighty power of God. Yes. invited to join us as we praise God, as we worship Him, as we, you know, just big up our God, you know, great things He has done. So join us wherever you are. Remember to like the page and to share the page. We want to see all of you on tonight. We're going to recognize you in a while, but we're just singing and praising Ooh. God, you know. Gamery, tell us, we have, who is the next one? Jumal. And Jumal. He is, um, um, sending for us him number 216. 216. Oh, that's a great one. Right. When the rule is called up yes. Right. Yes. The first and the last stanzas. Zawadi, that's for you. Join us. Remember to like the page and to share the page. Yeah? Let all your friends know that Youth Life Unplug is on. Oh, 
come for sins. May the fruits of grace abound. Bring relief to all complaints. Bless me all of Sabbath's feet. Till we rise to reign with thee. Bless me all of Sabbath's feet. Till we rise to reign with thee. Wonderful, wonderful. Boy, they are coming fast and, <laughs> and quick and furious. You know yes. what I mean? So let's sing. Let's sing, folks. Join let's us. Sing. Join us as we make melody with our voices and give our God praise. You know? What's the next one, Dragon? Who's the next one? Three, four from Vicky. No, Kel. Kel. The person has the, the first three letters of my name. Oh. Okay, that's probably faster. All right. <laughs> we speak of the realms, and that's a great one. Right. Beautiful song. Yes. First and last stanzas. <laughs> fantastic and marvelous yeah. but the fact that Jesus himself will be there yeah. well, we don't want to miss out on yeah. anything yeah. Yeah. Come, on, come on now you know <laughs> yes, yes, yes we will be there by the grace of God can we tell us who is the next person the next person is Vicky mm-hmm. and she's requesting uh, number 15 number 15 mm-hmm. very good mm-hmm. it's nice him. one man the yeah. coming <laughs> That's a that's a wonderful mm-hmm. hymn, Barbara. Just for you, let's join and sing with Barbara. And remember, remember, as we sing and as we praise, you can just type, you can just you know share the page, like the page, you know, and share it with all your friends and let us know, you know, let us know and let them join us in singing and praising and worshiping God and being blessed tonight. All right. Yes. Yeah. 
spend the whole night you know yeah. whole night uh, praising God you know um, but it's, it's it's such a good thing thank you very much for singing you know and we always say it on youth line that we want to have a, an entire night of singing by the producer like see them bring it yet you know we wait and we wait and guys you gotta help me to to make this happen yeah, you know fast. you gotta help me you know um folks like 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 chemo and 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 and, and, and golden and mm. And, and, and sister Kim Lee Dikoto, those, those guys in the background, you know, yes. who help us so very well to put together the programs and so on, you know. Well, folks, as we said, we are discussing tonight graduation on Sabbath and graduation balls, yes. right? Graduation on Sabbath and graduation balls. Um, the Bible declares that there is a time and place for everything. Yes. There's a time for everything under the sun, mm -hmm. right? 
Um, this time now, wrong now, is commonly called graduation or or cap and gong season. Yes, yes. You know, people put on the cap or the gong and mm -hmm. tassel and all of that and yes. so on, you know. Um, a lot of that. So um, that hard work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After they have worked hard and, yes. and, and, and so on, mm -hmm. right? Um, long nights and they've studied hard, they have done their work Born and so on. Born in the midnight oil yeah. as it were and, and so on. They have made great sacrifice. Yes. Um, and they now going to receive their reward, you know, um, to the commencement or the graduation ceremonies. Yes, yes. And for the secondary school graduates, um, there is also attached the ball, graduation ball, yes, after yes. the graduation. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's very night, Travis, or sometimes yeah. it's, it's, it's a few days yeah. after, uh, yeah. you know, wherever, whenever it comes, you know. Mm -hmm. But this evening we will be um, discussing um, attending commencement or graduation ceremonies that happen on Sabbath. Right, okay. That happen on Sabbath. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are we are zeroing on that happens on Sabbath because I you, you are aware as well as I am aware that there are certain institutions yes. within our land and maybe where you are viewing where you are yeah. there are institutions yeah. that are conducting the the, the graduation or commencement exercises mm -hmm. on Sabbath, Sabbath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. on Sabbath you know. And we have Adventists, um, young people who attend these institutions. Yeah. Okay. The question is, we are going to answer. We're going to look at that. Okay. You see, right? So we are going to look at that. But before we, we go into that, so keep that thought in mind, and that's going to form the base of what we are going to discuss. So we are talking of graduation, attending graduation on Sabbath, mm -hmm. and also attending the ball. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. is it okay? Is it is it all right? Is yeah. it cool? You know, we're gonna we're gonna hear more. You know, yes. but let's let's see who we have tonight. Let's pick up a few people. You know, um, pick up a few people there for us, Gamir. All who? right, we have Darian Keaton. Darian Keaton. She say okay, thanks. Darian is from from Kariku, you know. Okay. She's from Kariku, yeah. Glad right. glad to have you. Glad to have you. So Kariku is in the house. Kariku is there. Excited. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we have house, um yeah. Sharon Fortune. Uh huh. Sharon Fortune is online with us tonight. Yes. She's saying happy Sabbath. Yeah. Um. Of course, we also greet you. Happy Sabbath. Yes. Very nice. Um, we have right. Kessel Date. Mm -hmm. There, she's joined. Nice from, from Belmont. Belmont. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. Right by you long there, yes. you know? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Who else we have? So we have Jelani Charles. I think um. we were on last Sabbath. Mm -hmm. yeah, All right. Enjoyed. And not only Jelani, Jelani Charles and. Yeah, good, good, good. We are chumming the Harry says thank you, I guess, for the items. Okay. Kim Dikoto is on, yes, you know. On. She's <laughs> on. <laughs> Big up uh, Kim, all right. OJ since yeah. Yeah. Right. Good night. He says good night. Sorry we can't get your number yes. tonight, but hopefully next time, right? Next time. Sandra uh, Stanley Boys like, from, from New York. You know? Stanley Boys? Yes, from New York. From New York. Happy Sabbath so New York is in the house, yeah. Right. Very nice, very nice, very Jerry nice. Jerry Prowell. Uh-huh. Gabriel. Very nice. Yes. Andrew. Yes. Noel. Right. Very nice. Cam Noel. Says yeah. happy Sabbath to all. Happy, happy. I share already first session. I share, right. Yeah, very share nice, already. very nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who is that one? Sean Rick Philip. Right, very All good. Right. right, good, good. Beverly Joseph there. Craig Healy. Yeah. Who is that? What's that? Oh, <laughs> Craig, Craig Healy. You, you gotta be related to me, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, good to have you. Good to have you tonight. You have Dalisha Lambert Henry. All right, Dalisha. Good night. Sha. And happy Sabbath to all. Ethlin Radix. Very nice, very right. nice. Wow, boy, so many people are on tonight. Yes, 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 Sarang yes, yes. says, happy Sabbath and Sabbath blessing. Shani Chatron says, happy Sabbath. Uh, right? Anna yeah, Alexander. Alexander. Hi, Pastor Hile. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> Thank you very much. You singled me out. Julia Fires. Good, good right, technician. The right. beginning of the technician. Boy, they're coming fast, I tell yes, you. Right, we'll be back in a while. <laughs> let's take a little break Sylvia, and do a little righteous. promotions, yeah? Let's, yes. let's, let's let the people know before we come to a number of things. What's let's happening let's let what's happening yes. around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, folks, let me start. This weekend um, is, is, is Father's Day. Father's, yeah. Father's, Father's, Father's. <laughs> 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 well, well, yeah, well, okay, 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 daddy, okay, okay. All right, you're excited about it, yeah, man. But it's, a, it's just a time set aside to recognize the, the, the mothers had their share. Yes, yeah, and yeah. now it's Father's. Travis, yeah. you're not there yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just have to thank somebody. For what that's a long day. 
Come on, come on. Well, Gamil, I mean, <laughs> Gamil not in that, you know. But we take the opportunity from Youth Live, you know, yes, yes. and um, to wish our, all our fathers who are viewing um, Happy Father's Day in advance, yes, yeah? Yes. And guys, make it make it special for your father, yes? yes? Um, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, you know. But, you know, whatever you do, appreciate, you know. That's just one time said, all right? Yeah. Then um, what's, what's going on? Something is happening in Maranatha. Yes, there's something, something in the summer. Yeah. Maranatha, we're having our annual Armed Forces Day, but now it has been extended to Service Day. So oh. we're recognizing all the persons um, in the community, yeah. in the South who would have, um, by way through self-service, sacrificial service, yeah. and person they do nursing, um, police, oh. yoga, and I think they have some of the, yeah. Um, um, you will be recognizing them. There will be a special service for them right. that is going to be taking place on Sabbath, the seventh of July. Okay, of this okay. year, Pastor. Yeah, of this year, of this year, right. <laughs> right? And the theme is giving service unto humanity yeah. as unto God. So it's going to be a wonderful time. We're encouraging persons in the south, the north, the east, and the west, wherever you are, mm -hmm. you can come down and have a great time All with right. us on that Sabbath day. Right. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Good. And 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 then we go to some something happening in Boucheju. 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 Crusade, the train, Jesus Crusade, yes, yes. Sing, yes. Yeah, Gabriel, you want to tell us something about that? You've been there yet? No, I have not been there yet, unfortunately. Uh -huh. But I'm sure that the persons that are going are being blessed nightly yeah, to yeah. hear the, the expounding of the word of God with such power. Yes, yes. Yes. So yes. inviting persons to be a part of it. Yeah. I'm not sure when it ends yet. I yeah. think yeah. it has one more week. Yeah. One more week. But, but, but they, they, they're preaching. And, yeah. and, 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 <laughs> and I'll sing his, his <laughs> preaching. He's a, he's, he's a really good preacher Bible of the word of God, you know. Yeah. The place is nice. I've been there, you know, and music and music, everything. Yeah. So you got to be there. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen to me. Tomorrow, please, God, you are around the Bushiju area. You cannot, listen, mm -hmm. you cannot stay home, yeah? No. You got to mobilize all your friends, everybody, family members, and you got to get on the, under this thing, right? Mm -hmm. Fool this place. And then if there is another week or two or three or one, I don't know, but you got to every night go there. I'm telling you, I, was go I went there because I'm living so far, I can't go every night, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, I went there and I was, whoa, you know? Yes. That kind of thing, it, it was really, really good. Yeah, the preaching of the gospel. Yeah. And not only that, but coming up in this part, the... The, the Eastern One district, mm -hmm. that's, um, I, I hope I get it right, because you have Eastern One, Eastern Two, um, with Pastor Panchu. Mm -hmm. We have a special lay evangelist from Tobago, yes. okay. Caden yeah. Lord. Okay. He's yeah. starting on Sunday night, yeah. Sunday night up in the park, we play Sunday coming. Okay. Sunday coming, Sunday, Sunday the 17th, man. All I'm right. telling you, he's from Tobago, he came and met him to, um, this week, and you know, I'm telling you, he's so ready to go. Person you're thinking about persons cannot miss a crusade. You I cannot miss. I understand that Pastor has a very great testimony. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can I won't tell you what it is. Right. I want to share his testimony. Okay. Persons around that area should not miss that that event. Right. So make yeah. sure that you go. Yeah. Then of course tomorrow at the Monkros SD Church there is elder certification program. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So all the elders around the island will be up there and mm -hmm. you know being trained and so on. I think all of us will be there. All of you guys uh, will be there. I ain't getting the ship <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and then and then as we hear none, um, the the beach picnic committee will be going to St David's um tomorrow for the AY um you know they have a special gift to give out I right, think, for right. for yes. the well, picture thing you know yes. that that we had you know so they they'll be there I, I should be joining them there um you know and and so on. Then um, the northern district, the northern district, that's the district. Sister Kim Lindy Koto is, yes, you know, you know, okay, you know, okay. you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes. Right, she's in that district. <laughs> they having something special, mm -hmm. prayer, prayer and praise, praise. night. Okay. Yeah, prayer and praise night. Let me get the date correct. It's June 29th. Uh, June 29th. What, what what date is it? What day is that? Don't forget the Canada day before my birthday. The day before your birthday? <laughs> yeah. Right. You can't forget that. So you gotta be there before, yes. right? <laughs> right. So June 29th, I'm at the Mongrose SDA church at 6 30. Okay. It's prayer and praise night. Yeah. Okay. That that promises to be great, exciting, you know. Right. I'm I'm I, I, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. By the grace of God. Yeah. Right? And then and folks, as we as we call as we end this segment, um just just on a bit of uh, just a sad note, you know, sad note. Um, um, this week we have received news um, that um, one of our youth leaders, um, Telson Sandy, um, his wife passed on. You know, um, yeah, she she was battling an illness for a little while, and she passed on. So tonight, from Youth Live, all of us at Youth Live, those who are in studio, those who are out of studio, the whole entire Youth Live family. We, we, we extend our deepest sympathy and condolences to Telson Sandy and um, the entire family, you know, um, his young wife, um, you know, just married about a year and some, you know, 
and, and so, so it's hard. We've been reaching out to him. The young people have been reaching out to him and pouring out the Lord. So let's continue to reach out to him and pray for him and support him, you know? Yes, yeah. and, and we have the hope. We have the hope by yes. the grace of God that um, we will see our loved ones who have died in Christ again. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very nice. Okay, let's take a break and then let's, let's um, um, go to a special item of music by God's sons. We hope you enjoy this. to thee She's joined. Um, Decimi Charles. Decimi Charles. Decimi Charles. She says, what she says here? Good night, Pastor Elvis. And everyone. everyone. Donna Charles Reed. Charles, Charles says, pleasant Sabbath. All right. Thank you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. All Thank you very much. All right. Well, folks, it's quiz time. Yes. It's quiz time. Yes. We gotta run through the quiz. Is short tonight and very easy. Yes. Very yeah. easy. Very easy. You think very so? Easy. Yeah. Quiz time. Are you guys ready? You gotta. You gotta post. Remember. 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 Also, the key to this thing, to this ministry tonight, right? And all the other times is to like the page and to share the page, right? That is critical. That is important. Um, like the page and share the page so that as many persons, all right? And let us know that you like the page. Let us know that you share the page, right? And and, and so everybody can be on with us tonight. So it's yes, quiz time. Yes. Get ready. Get your Bibles, you know? Mm -hmm. And let's go. You, you want to shoot, Dragon? Yes. Right. Shoot the first the question. First question. Whoa. <laughs> If thou tur turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, mm -hmm. if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, mm -hmm. and call the Sabbath a delight, 
holy of the Lord, honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, not finding thy own pleasure, not speaking thine own words. What I want you to do for me tonight is to tell me the book, chapter, and verse where we can find that. The wow. book, the chapter, and the verse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see. That, that's a very easy one. Yeah, yeah. Very easy one. Very, very easy. easy one. Easy one. Who is coming with the answer there? All right. Uh, Anybody in? Right. Yeah, we, we have Marlene Charles is in. Marlene Charles. We have Risa Latou. She's, she's there. Yeah, Risa is there. All right, very nice. Very nice. Shomin Bihar is there. Who is, who is coming? Anybody? Anybody um, answering? Well, of course, it's on the screen as well. So if you want to read it over again, you can do that. Yeah. Um, there's it. Right. Nice. Right, so what? It's Bob Palmer. It's Bob Palmer. Oh, yes. And Roshan. That, that looks like Roshan. <laughs> that looks like Roshan. Roshan. Yeah, she I'm, also seeing, I'm also seeing um, girls of girls, Queen B. Right. It's actually saying it's IS, and I think that means Isaiah. Uh -huh. That's 58, 13, and 14, and she's correct. Person. Right, very so much. So all of them are that. correct, yeah? yeah? Yes. All of them are correct. Let, let's let scripture correct. answer. It's just coming in with Isaiah 58. <laughs> they, were, they couldn't even put in verse. Yes. So that's good. Good effort. Good effort. Yeah? Very nice. Very nice. Good effort. Good. Uh, Roshan says, good night, youth life family. Good night, Roshan. We miss you tonight, girl. But next time, yeah? I see Karen right. Dunbar is on point there. Karen yes, Dunbar. Yes. Oh, that's my friend, Karen. <laughs> Karen, what are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I must take time to big up Karen. Karen should be our Karen somewhere in the States. I wonder if she's here now. She's an immigration officer. She, you know? And, um, you know, very, very, very good friend of mine. How are you doing, Karen? You know, stay on. Karen, I want you to do me a favor. Do your good friend a favor. You got to like that page. You got to share that page. Right, Karen? Share the page. Share the page, yeah? So that all your friends, all your, you know, friends can look and see what is going on. All right? Because we have something big coming up, you know. In a while, I'm bringing in a special guest inside here. I'm making all these fellas go and have a special <laughs> guest because we have to talk a little for a few minutes about something big and something special to rock with it coming up. I'm all right, I get excited. Yeah. Oh, go. Yes, yes. All right, nice. Let's go. Next one. Next one. Next one. It's quiz time. Yeah, next one. So the second question. <laughs> for the time pass of our life may suffice us to have wrath with the will of the Gentiles. When we walk in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, raveling, banquetings, and abominable, abominable idolatries. Mm -hmm. Which Bible author penned those words? Wow, boy, that's, that's one. serious one. <coughs> <coughs> okay, they will get this one, boy. Serious you want to read it again? Read right. it a little, you know, louder, slower. For the time pass of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. When we walk in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, ravelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Mm -hmm. Which Bible author penned those words? Ah, oh, boy. That's All right. Palmer says, Paul. No. Come. Paul. Who say Paul? Eh? Palmer. Palmer, not yes. yet. Not yet. Not, not Paul. Paul. Trinel Jesse, me, my good friend, is there. What she says? He says, good night, Pastor Hile and Brother Dragon. Happy Sabbath. Good night Come to on. you, Trinel. And Trinel usually have a nice group, you know. Not only yeah. Trinel watching, you know, she just bring a group and then yeah, she's friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she brought them here time to see me, all she friends and things. So all your friends, Trinel. <laughs> I know you're watching. Judith Bessie's on. She says, Paul, not uh, yet. Not Bruce, yet. Not quite. Britney, 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 Britney. She says, she says. Peter, and that's correct. All right, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Nas, Who says Williams. That? Nas William says Peter as well. Reece. Reece says Peter. Yes, Reece. Reece. Uh -huh. Reece. Right, right. Nas, right. Right. Yeah. Nas William says Peter, right? But let's big up those who there. Sylvia Latou, she's done. Yes. She made a good attempt. I see, yes, I see yes. Judith Bess was on. She made a good attempt. We got to still big them up, you know? Mm -hmm. because... And Palmer says Peter, so she's yeah. correct as well. Right. Slim Mo says Slim Peter. Mo. Wow, yes. boy. Very good. All you going good. All you going good. Come here. Come here. Give them the next one. All right. So for this one... All right, I need us to be able to answer very carefully. So it says here, What was God's response when the children of Israel went out on the Sabbath day to gather manna? Okay. Again, what was God's response to Moses when the children of Israel went out on the Sabbath day to gather manna? Mm. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Tell, tell us, us what was God's response. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can provide us with a... Um, reference, yeah, reference, text, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just tell us the text, you know, the reference where you can find that. In the meantime, we have Gilonry, Charles is on there, Hannah Pascal 
is on. Then we have Radiant Hutchinson is on. Yeah, um, she's on there. So people are people are you know liking the page and sharing the page. Very nice, Justin. Um, Augustine is there. From Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. All right. Saint Lucia, Saint, Lucia is Saint Lucia is in the hall. Yes. 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 Very nice. Oh, very nice. We have one of your boys <laughs> down here. You know, yeah. Isado is down here. You yeah. know. Yeah. Answer from Yvonne Grisling Forbes, and she says the man has spoiled. The man has spoiled. Gabriel. Gabriel, is that the answer you're looking for? Well, the man did spoil, but we want to know what God said. Mm -hmm. What did God say? What did God say? <laughs> All right. So give them a little. Give them a little help with the, with the first part of the reference now. Um, well, we, we, we know that if the man has spoiled, there mm -hmm. has to be something in the Old Testament where mm -hmm. God okay, okay. We know it's Moses, mm -hmm. and we know Moses is involved in the first So give them the book, give them the book, give them the book. Are they want the book? Yeah, give, give them, them the book. book. <laughs> Alright, Exodus is the book. Exodus is the book. Alright. Ruth Percy Francis book. says, from known. Ruth is on, Ruth is on. Ruth is on. We want to know what he said. Ethlin yeah. Radix is on. Very nice, very nice. Chinos Isado, Pastor Isado is on. Pastor <laughs> yes, Isado. Yes. Happy Sabbath to you. Happy Sabbath <laughs> to you, man. Happy Sabbath to you. We look forward to your comments a little later on, Pastor Isado. And he has been one of our hosts, yes? He has been one of our hosts, you know? And he's getting up for something big. We're going to tell you about that in, in time to come, yeah? Okay. But all okay. for now, is squeeze time. Ethlin Radix. And she said, they did not gather man on the Sabbath. He told them to gather enough for Friday for mm. the Sabbath. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess she paraphrased it. Yeah. All right, we so can we, work with that part. Right. So we, 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 we don't be referenced. Yes, because well, we will find it in Exodus chapter 16, mm -hmm. verses 28 and 29. So read it, read it. Exodus please. 28, it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? Ah, yeah. See, for the Lord hath given you the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he giveth you on the sixth day, the bread of two days. Mm -hmm. Abide ye every man in his place. Yeah. Let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. Right. I, I think somebody got Queen it there. Pete, Queen Lee Peters, I think she got it. Um, Peters okay. and Joel, yeah, 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 she she got it, you know. Very nice. Slim Mo is there, Exodus, right, good, very good. Keisha Joseph. Keisha Joseph, that name is so. I think it's St. George's. Right. I think How it's long George's. will you refuse my commandment? <laughs> so she's on top. They give me a short form. They can type everything. Yes? Right, right. right. But they, they just remember the Trinel, look at Trinel. Jesse is there. Yeah, <laughs> Trinel coming nicely there too. All right, yeah, very yeah. nice. <clears throat> okay, my turn now. Yes. My turn. We're going good. Um, found in Judges 16. Which Israel judge was killed during a time of revelry? Uh -huh. <laughs> Found in Judges 16. That's that's a that's a giveaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Make it like a giveaway, did it? Yeah. Which Israel judge was killed during a time of revelry? Answer please. Who is that? Mm, anybody yet? Alright, we have Stephen Ranger join. Good to have you, Stephen. Remember to share the page. Share the page, share the page. After the quiz, we have somebody coming special in studio to tell you about something Sorry. coming up. We seen that Rebel Who's that? Ah, Rondell Wilson. Wilson. Rondell, Rondell Wilson says Samson. 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 Very, very nice. nice. Very nice. Yes, yes. We could work with that, right? Yes, yes. Next one. Nice. Dragon Yoto. Yes, number five. Where is the following verse taken from? Where is the following verse taken from? Mm -hmm. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I make shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your descendants and your name remain. <laughs> and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. Mm. You need to tell me which book, chapter, and verse that comes from. I'm going to give you a little hint. It's in the Old Testament. Oh, all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> we are wow. Wow. Wilson there. Who is that? Randall Wilson. Wilson. What is that? What I, I didn't see the answer. He's almost there. Right. I think he said Isaiah, but 66. I think he said 60, 66, 14. And try it, try it, again. Come try again. You're, you're, you're coming good. Yeah, but the book is right. The book, right. the book is correct. The book is good. The book is good. Two. Oh, Keisha, Keisha Joseph, I think she has it. Yes, yeah. Isaiah 66, 22. Slim Moore has it as All right. well. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's good. All right. You also have Donish George. Yes. Right, right, right. Okay, nice, right, let's nice. go. Next one, Travis, your turn. All right, so the next question is In which book, chapter, and verse of the Bible can reveling be found as a work of the flesh? Mm -hmm. In which book, chapter, and verse of the Bible can reveling be found as a work of the flesh? Mm -hmm. All right, which book and chapter? Reveling, reveling can be found as a work of the flesh. 
Ezekiel? Oh. So the other two says Ezekiel? Um, no. No. I want to believe in the New Testament. It's in the New Testament. It's in the New Testament. It's right there in a book. Queen B says. Revelation, Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Mm. Uh, Ronda. 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 Oh, Ronda. <laughs> Ronda. Ronda's time tonight, boy. Yes. Ticks, man. Tell us which one. What, what you say? Risa is also there? Yes. Right. yes. Right. What's what's the reference? So the reference is Galatians five twenty one. Twenty one. Right. You can That's find it there. Nice. Nice. Gamel, last Let's one. Go to the next Take one. the last one, Gamel. Yes. Yes. According to the New International Version, so you have to have the NIV there. Mm -hmm. What did the people do when Moses delayed on the mount? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. When Moses delayed, according to your NIV version, the NIV. What did the people do? Mm -hmm. What did the people do? All right. Who is telling us? Come. Queen Who's, Mises. This is golden calf. Well, they are, you're not far away, but... She's not far away. Looking for, looking for something more. We want uh -huh. something more. Something more. Mm -hmm. According to the NIV, All what right. did the people do when Moses delayed on the mount? Yeah, the story is in Exodus. 32. Yes. Uh -huh. I could answer. Exodus 32. Could help you before the golden calf. <laughs> All right. All right. Stay tuned. Something that you like is coming up. Street talk is coming up just now. Get ready, Primary my friends. Valerie's on. All right. Who's coming with the answer? That's the last question. So last come question. on. Valerie's on. Valerie Tini is on. Join us. Welcome, Valerie. You have the answer there for us, Valerie. Remember to share the page. All right. Yeah. Slim Mo says they asked Aaron to make them gods. Mm. Um, there's something in particular that we're looking for. Yeah. The question says, what did the people do? Okay, I think Dalisha Lambert Henry. I like I like her. Built a golden calf. Uh huh. And, and danced. danced. And danced. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 We're coming along. We're coming along. They asked for Judith, what about Judith Bess says? Let's read something yes. from Judith. Okay. There. Okay. They took off their gold, melted it, and made the golden calf. They danced and, and sang. sang. All right. All right. All right. It summed up the word we're looking for. Yes. We're looking for one word. <laughs> uh, Gamir, isn't yes. one, one word you're looking word to kind of for. sum up? Dance and sang? Because it's something like that. Yeah. Mm? It is. It's a word in R. We're singing, we're dancing. I think, we could, I think we could give them that. <laughs> yeah, I think we could give them that. Mm -hmm. We're singing and dancing because you know that is like a party frolic environment. So I think um, we can give it. They might not know exactly okay, what Okay, well, give us, give us. Yeah. All so right. Know, so what the word, word is the revel. The revel. The revel. Yeah. All right. Right, good. right. Thank you, folks. That was, that was, that was, that was a good quiz. Good yeah. quiz. Yeah. Right, thank you for participating. Yes. Keep it up on this next segment, boy. We're moving along, boy. Time go wow, wow. I tell you, time could fly when you're having Coming fun <laughs> with the Bible and with the Word of God, you know? Yes, yes. So, so I look forward to the quiz, you know? Um, very, very important. Very, very important, all right? So let's take our street talk now. Um, it's something that you've been looking forward to, yeah? Something that you've been looking forward to. And um, at this moment, based on what we are discussing tonight, remember we're talking about graduations on Sabbath, Sabbath yeah. and graduation balls, yeah? Mm -hmm, yes. We took to the streets. Um, the Youth Life Camera took to the streets. Mm -hmm. Let's hear what the people on the street has to say about it. Hi, afternoon. I'm Dolisha here on the streets with another episode of Street Talk. And with me this afternoon is Samantha. She's going to answer a few questions for us, right? So first question, what do you understand the Sabbath to be? Well, to me, I think the Sabbath is a day of rest, whereby, you know, you go to church, you, you have a relationship, you build your relationship then with God. So I think it's a day of rest and gladness, as, it, as the Bible says. So it's just a day to relax and reflect on. Okay. So things you normally do during the week, you shouldn't do it. Like for instance, work, like that should be off for the Sabbath at least. So yeah, that's maybe one. Are there any specific things which can and can't be done on the Sabbath? Well, there are things, yeah, there are things you do and should, well, can be, can be done on the Sabbath, but well. Can you list a few, like give me some of the, the don'ts? Oh, well, you will not go and party on the Sabbath, well, during that time, well, because that time you'll 
want to, you know, reflect on that. You won't go and party, you won't, well, there's a list of things, but, you know, they're not coming to mind right now. But there are a lot of do's. I think the do's overpower the do's. Okay. That's your view. And um, I have another question here. A good friend is getting married on the Sabbath. Should you attend the wedding or not? Hello, baby. Well, that one will be a kind of tricky one because you will want to go and um, to see that your friend get married. But maybe you can go to the first part, which way? You mean like in the church? The church part. Yeah, that part might be more relevant since that if like well that depends on your religion and everything so if to me okay well maybe yes because because that is my friend and she gets married and you know marriage is like so i'll go and she wedding yeah or if he's a, a boy i'll go even though yes because i will attend wedding because how i see it is that the seven day is a Honorable day, according to the Bible, and marriage is also an honorable thing. So, the two coming together is not a problem. Maybe, maybe, maybe the reception part, maybe, but the wedding itself, like the ceremony part, the, the first part, not really. But yeah. So you would attend the ceremony and not the reception. Maybe not the reception. Maybe. Okay, I'll attend the wedding. I'll see because marriages are blessed by God. So. Yeah, I can't miss my friend. <laughs> I can't miss my friend's wedding. Okay. No, because it's my Sabbath day. The wedding. If it's my good friend, maybe listen to my words very carefully, yeah. Maybe I would attend the ceremony just to show appreciation to them. The ceremony and that's it. I would not attend the the reception. No. Maybe I'll go to the ceremony in the church. After that, I go back. If it's home, go back to church. Okay. Can you just give us a little bit more, maybe why? Well, what a wedding entails, it would be not appropriate for the Sabbath. As I said to you before, Sabbath is a day when God is set aside. It is holy. It is sanctified. So that's why I would not, you know, outright go to a wedding on a Saturday. I said, according to who, I would just attend the ceremony. That's it. Yeah. Because, I mean, the Bible talks about holy matrimony and the sign of getting married is holy and pleasing in God's sight. So, yes. Is attending your graduation or your friend's graduation on the Sabbath a good thing to do? Would you do it? Why or why not? I will not go. I will not go. Why? Um, I just would not go. I don't, I don't, maybe I'm using personal experience, but I would just not go. That, that just okay. Well, for me personally, I think I would attend. I might miss that. So, but most people you see as everybody share different views on stuff. I think that, um, it will be hard to pinpoint to tell people, well, don't go. I think that will be up to individuals. Graduation. I would not go because it is Sabbath and you know Sabbath is blessed by God, Sabbath is day for God and church and things of that nature and personally I don't believe that going to a graduation is anything related to God and anything related to keeping the Sabbath. So a grad I would stay away from. No, it's not okay because it's the seventh day, it's the Sabbath, that's when we worship. God expects us to keep his Sabbath day holy. So I would not attend a friend's graduation or if I should say well my child yeah no to be honest I would but I know it's like it's wrong in the sight of God but to me I would attend the graduation because, because like it's your best friend and it's a graduation I mean they've come a long way and stuff so well yeah I'll attend a graduation because Imagine the person go along from form five to from form one to five. Yeah, I'll attend the graduation because they go a long way to get that. Yeah, I'll attend. Okay, thank you very much. No Do you think that going to a graduation and balls is a form of revelry, like partying and so on? 
Well, the graduation is not forever because that day you go to, um, it's your last, you can say your last day of being with your friends and stuff. So I don't see really that as forever. Maybe the, the ball is a form because even if you're not out in the streets, but the music that's on the streets will be there. So maybe the ball part, but not necessarily the your graduation. I'm a teacher, so I mean, grad and ball is a part of my job. I don't see it as revelry. It is a farewell party in the sense. Maybe of late it has grown, maybe, in the terms of the public is invited and things of that nature, but I don't see it as revelry, but I just see it as a sort of a going away party where the students come together for the last time to just have fun with each other. Depending, depending. A lot of things could be depended on that specific answer, yes. Okay. Studios of Youth Live, we are very happy to have you. Great program, great this discussion. It's um, it's on fire. Yeah, Grenada is on fire. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We, we are on fire. Thank you very much. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are. Okay, uh, my name is Alan Charles. Mm -hmm. I'm from London, England, but I actually grew up in St. Vincent. All right. So I was born in England. Yeah. At the age of three, my mom sent me to St. Vincent. So I spent my junior years in, in St. Vincent. Right. Then went back to, to London at the age of 12. Uh -huh. um, so I'm a, a poet and a playwright. All right, that's what you do. You are yeah, a, poet. a poet and a playwright. Ah. And I'm here in in Grenada because on the 1st of July, uh -huh. we're bringing the poet. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't go too fast. Don't go too fast. <laughs> I was just asking you. Yeah, well, we, wait, you know, I just, I know we have a few minutes, but, but, um, Give us, give us a little, you want to give me a little, a little two yeah, second rest poem? I want, I want to give you a piece from, from the play. Oh, you won't give me a little yeah, piece? Yeah, okay, piece okay, yeah. okay. I wanted to talk about it the, and then give you a little piece from the play. Right, right. To whet your appetite. Right, so you, you're yeah. from St. Vincent. Yeah. Um, you were born in London. Born in London. Right. Grew up in St. Vincent. Right, so you have some... Went back to England and then married a Trini. Oh! So yeah. I'm a melting pot yeah, of yeah, yeah. Caribbean so flavors. Yeah, so yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Married a Trini. Chiller in Chiller yet? I've got two children, yes, I'm a 22 and 24. They're young people, man. Yeah, yeah, young yeah, people, yeah. young people. So you know what youth is I dealing with young I people. understand the issues. It's about, yeah? Much, yeah? Right, so why are you in Greece? First time to Grenada? Third time to Grenada. Third time to Grenada. Yeah, yeah. Why are you love, in Grenada? I love, I love the land this of spice. Time. I'm here because on the 1st of July, Sunday 1st of July, at the Spice Basket, we bring in love, sax and all that jazz. Oh boy, that, this, this, this is this is what I have here. And I which think is, you guys have here. Which is a gospel stage play coming all the way from London, England to Grenada. Right. Now it's a play that's dealing with love, mm -hmm. sex and all that drama. Now I know in Grenada you guys want to talk about sex. Yeah. It's nasty, dirty <laughs> and filthy. Mm -hmm. But sex is from God. Right. Mm -hmm. And done in the right proper context, uh -huh. it is holy, just and good right you right know? so we deal with some of the issues that sometimes as a church we want to talk about uh -huh. so number one man shortage uh-huh man shortage right uh-huh in the church <laughs> oh, you're boy this thing wait hold on all you all you all you understand what's going on there all you going on understand what's going on you know and that right so man, man shortage where are the men where are the men mm -hmm. the, that, that whole singleness issue right you know mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we're we promoting abstinence Abs is singleness Abstinence right. in singleness. So if, if you're single, uh -huh. there's certain stuff that you cannot partake in. Uh -huh. Yeah, sexual intimacy is for married people. Uh -huh. Blessed of God. Uh -huh. Right. If you're married, that's just between you and your wife. Okay. You can't share it with anybody else. Right. You're, 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 good, you're going good right. so far. All right. Mm -hmm. If you're from the house of Israel, mm -hmm. you have no business 
marrying somebody from the house of Egypt. Oh boy, boy. So we're talking about you must have been unequally yoked. So, so you, 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 you're saying you're touching all these issues that are within in the play. In, in the play. Yeah, in so the it's play. not just coming and here something, you're, you're, you're bringing it real, yes, making yes, it yes. live, 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 and live kind of thing. Live and direct. Live. The play is very um, mm -hmm. honest and open. Honest and open. And people like it because they can see themselves, they can see their the mom, their dad, their uncle, mm -hmm. your friend, your neighbor. On stage. On stage. But the issues are real. These are issues that people talk about amongst themselves. Right. But we're bringing it to the open uh -huh. so that we can see and we can discuss and we can grow and we can learn more. Because I mean, I grew up, when I grew up, mm -hmm. um, I was given two books. Mm -hmm. At 13, I was given everything a teenage boy should know. Mm -hmm. Then when I became 16, my mom gave me on becoming a man. Yes. Because parents didn't talk about these things. Right. They give you book and you read for yourself and, right. so, and so you made your mistakes. Mm -hmm. So and the play is a result of growing up, mm -hmm. looking around, observing and seeing that there's a lack of mm -hmm. communication mm -hmm. and talking honestly and openly about the but these issues. We need this thing. So tell us because the date again? The first of July. The first of July. At Spice Basket at six PM. At six no, PM. six PM English time. English time. Meaning 6 p.m. 6 p.m. All right. I know the Caribbean, we have a different aspect of timekeeping, yeah. but 6 p.m. Uh -huh. We've started and we're going nice. Right. Yeah, right. So it, it's a gospel, it's, it's, it's serious issues, but it's a comedy. Uh -huh. right. tell, tell, tell us a little bit quickly um, about the cast. Um, the cast, right. So oh, where do you draw people from? Huh? Well, they, 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 the, 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 the UK cast is um, um, a, um, Adventist from different um, ch oh, ch they ch are churches. Oh, they're Adventists from, uh, young... from, from, from different churches, yeah. and they also are from different islands. In the Caribbean. Oh, so, so we've got people from Grenada. You got people from Grenada, from Grenada yes. Right. Uh, we have people from Trinidad, from Antigua, from Barbados. Like they, they, their parentage or their roots. Oh, you know, so it's, okay. it's a Caribbean flavor. So you, you're going to get the the British UK Caribbean flavor coming to um, Grenada. 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 So basically, the story is is, is um, five friends, right? So you got one Lisa who is single, mm -hmm. happily single. Is promoting singleness, mm -hmm. but the pressure mm -hmm. from the brethren when you get in married, mm -hmm. where is it? Love your husband, you know, that pressure, she, she's dealing with that. Mm -hmm. Then we have Louise, who is single, but not happy being single, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so she comes across a young man who is not a Christian, and her issue is do I wait upon the Lord to send me, mm -hmm. I mean, the right person, or do I? marry him mm -hmm. and convert him <laughs> along the way all right you know mm -hmm. and then we have Shanice who is married but is in, a, in an abusive relationship mm -hmm. so we deal, we deal with all, all the issues we've got some um, Kelly who is caught between bet, bet, between two brothers right right mm -hmm. and then we have um, Chantel who, whose, whose boyfriend wants some action mm -hmm. but she's saying Oh, take it easy. No ring, all right. no ting. No what? No ring, <laughs> all right. no ting. All right. No wed, yeah. no bed. No, all right. You understand? So uh -huh. dealing with all, all the issues. And I just want, I just want to leave a little, little piece for you just to whet your appetite. Right, wet, you know wet us. Right. Because singleness is not a crime and singleness is not a sin. Hmm. So I beg you, bide your time before into the fire you jump in. Hmm. Singleness is not a crime, it's not a life threatening disease. So I beg you, bide your time, all oh my brothers and sisters, please. So you is 30 something and you isn't married yet. The alarm bells them start ringing, and so you start to fret. I want a man, I need a man. Where can I get one from? Mm -hmm. But good men, them don't grow pantry. You can't just go pick one. Mm -hmm. Patient is a virtue, and the Lord, you have to wait mm -hmm. because you're approaching 42. It does not make you desperate. Mm -hmm. So seek ye first the Lord's kingdom and don't sell short yourself. Mm -hmm. And he will provide wife or husband while you're waiting on the shelf. Right. Now marriage is most honorable, but marriage is not for all. Mm -hmm. So don't make yourself miserable if marriage is not your call. Because it is better to be single and wishing you had a man or wife than to be a couple and wishing you had a single life. If you want to hear more, the 1st of July nice. at Spice Basket, Love, Sax and all that jazz coming from the UK 
right here in Grenada, the land of spice. Excellent, excellent. Well, what, boy, Alan, I, I, I get the vibes. Yes, I get the vibes. Yeah, 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 feeling yes, the vibes, yes, you know. Yes, yes. And and Alan will be around, um, around Grenada for the next few days in a number of churches and so on because these are real issues, right? And on youth life, we've been talking about a few of these issues. Yeah, yeah. we've been talking about a few issues. So it's not it's not new. We've been talking a few of these, but what they have done, they are Adventist young people who have brought to come together and brought these things together in a play in the form of a drama right that we are going to enjoy so it's well in keeping with what we've been discussing and what some of the issues that our young people are facing that we have to educate them and that we got to you know bring it in a manner that they would appreciate and they would they would understand all right so alan thank you for being thank here you tonight you, you know but we're gonna have some more time yeah, and some other time hopefully by the grace of god because the topic coming up next week is a, you know mm -hmm. keeping in line with what you talking about so yeah. you might be one of the good fellas to be here appreciate and that, yes. also we're going to be talking you're going to be seeing him around in some of the churches and, and elsewhere as he promotes this big drama coming up with these all of these issues that are affecting us. Thank you very much. Thank it you. It was a pleasure Let's having have you this evening. Let's take a break. Let's take a break as we have a special item of music by Mario.
wonderful item of music by Brother Mario. Yes? yes, Mario, a young man using his gifts and his talents to glorify yeah. God. Yeah? yeah, glorify God. When I get big, I want to sing like him. You know? <laughs> I want to sing like him. You know, but it's good. But um, and thanks, we had Alan. There's so more to come. All right. Well, we welcome back. We're gonna get into the meat of the matter tonight, yes. and time yes. is really moving. You know, yes. but um, we are very well, happy to welcome one of our own, um, Geraldine. Geraldine, it's not your first time on Youth Live, no? It is my first time. First time on Youth Live? Yes, first time. Oh, I thought you were here sometime, but you had to be here and you couldn't make it or something? Yes, yes. Yeah, I think yes. way back, you know? Yes, but yes. welcome, Geraldine. Welcome, shake my hand, no? Thank you. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's good to have Geraldine with us, you know, I young people. Not again. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. So, folks, tonight, we are, we, as we told you and as we've been talking about, even in the quick graduation on Sabbath, and graduation balls, yes. Yeah? Um, we, we want to get into the meat of the matter quickly, quickly. So let's let's discuss. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about the Sabbath. Okay. So as to just lay the foundation, right? I, I want to believe um we know about the Sabbath, our young people know about the Sabbath, adults know about the Sabbath. We just want to lay a little ground rule, a uh, um, base here, foundation, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. define the Sabbath, definition for the Sabbath. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would put it like that, you know, Sabbath, we have in it Abba, and that means Father. Uh -huh. And Sabbath Day, so that is Father's Day. But you know that, <laughs> <laughs> you know that um, God um, is our Father, uh -huh. right? And uh -huh. He will have set aside that day for holy things, All right. right? So the Sabbath Day is a, is a day that we observe during the week as a holy day set apart for worshipping and adoring and giving glory and honor to the one who have created us all and everything we know. All yeah. right, yeah. very nice, yes. very nice. I also want to add that the Sabbath... It begins from sunset on Friday evening to sunset on Saturday evening. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know that. They mm -hmm. think it's from six o'clock and <laughs> to six o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But just to get it, the Bible spoke about um, the day begins at evening mm -hmm. when the sun mm -hmm. sets, mm -hmm. and so it's from even to even, right. sunset to sunset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The right. Sabbath came into existence way back at creation, yes. Yes. and God is the one that set it aside. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You can find that in Genesis chapter two, mm -hmm. verses one to three. Mm -hmm. We see there that. God set aside the Sabbath day as a, uh, a special day, yes. Yes. a so, special day for rest. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because I was going to ask you, then having said that, the purpose, the purpose yes. of the yes. Sabbath, why was the Sabbath given? Yes. What is the purpose of the Sabbath? Well, I think it was given for us to come apart from all that we did for the week. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a day where, okay, we're doing the same thing that we did during the week. It's a day where we focus on God, we worship. Focus on God. Uh -huh. Yes, and we fellowship with people we haven't seen for the whole week. Mm -hmm. So I just look forward to go to church because sometimes whole week I don't see so many people. Uh -huh. Only on a Saturday I get to see uh -huh. them. Uh -huh. You know, and I'm, I, I definitely look forward to that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. What I what I would add to that, um, being in the in the field of pharmacy, persons come to me from time to time mm -hmm. and they want things for memory mm -hmm. because they forget. And when you forget basic things, you're inefficient at your day to day um, task. Mm -hmm. And it, it's so fitting that the fourth commandment says, "Remember the Sabbath day." Mm -hmm. And remember in the Sabbath day, you remember God first and foremost. You remember, remember where you God. came from, right. right? And then you know how you should behave as a Christian. So therefore, you you become more effective as a Christian. So mm -hmm. in a sense, the Sabbath day acts like a memory pill for you for the Christian. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah is that time when when you can pause 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 and you know stop from your cycle of work uh -huh. but without with, without the sabbath or if you don't absorb the sabbath then you're just on a cycle of walking mm -hmm. walking walking mm -hmm. and as human beings god in his wisdom when he designed us all right he knew that we need rest mm -hmm. we need a time when we can come apart mm -hmm. from our daily activities and where things are going so we can you know worship him mm -hmm. we can fellowship with our brethren we can be you know, once again, you know, prepared for another cycle of work. Mm -hmm. And I so, think that mm -hmm. is um, why he said, remember. remember. Because as human beings, you know, we tend to forget. Mm -hmm. So you put remember mm -hmm. the Sabbath. Right. I also okay. want to add, <laughs> like he said, remember. But, you know, some persons say, you don't have to study the Sabbath, forget about the Sabbath. Yet for he said, remember. Mm -hmm. Could you remember something that wasn't there before? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, sure. you can't remember something that wasn't yeah. initially there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. get go, from the day of creation, mm -hmm. he was the Sabbath day was established. Mm -hmm. So he just said, "Remember it." Mm -hmm. He just reminded the children of Israel in the wilderness. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what they have to do. Right. Right. Nice. Um. Um. Let Let Let's move on. You know. We you know. Thank you very much for the little. You know. Um. Foundation there. Um. That rolls in into observance of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Observance of the Sabbath. Um, the Sabbath originates with God. Yes. God is yes. his, his special day, right? How should we observe the Sabbath? Because that's going to tie in what we're going to talk about 
um, concerning attending graduations and okay. so on, okay. other activities. What do you have to say about observance of the Sabbath? Do we have any guidelines from the Word of definitely, God? Definitely. What do we have? <laughs> observance of the Sabbath. Let's hear. Well, in, in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at it from the Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20, all right, um, that's verses 8 to 11. Mm -hmm. um, he says, six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work, thy work. Mm -hmm. right? But the seventh day is the Sabbath, Sabbath of the Lord, Lord thy God. Yes. Yes. Okay. In it, and he says, thou shalt not do, do any, any work. work. Uh -huh. All right, thou, not thy son, and he lists, servant, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Because why? It's God rested, like mm -hmm. and that is why it is there for. Mm -hmm. So, so, so we shouldn't do anything. Just sit down. All right. just watch <laughs> I around. Right All right. Just, yeah. I want to interject right there. So the word rest there mm -hmm. doesn't mean sleep. All right. All right. <laughs> it just means cease from work. So okay. Okay. And that's right. it. So we need to cease from the, the the things of the world, like the kind of things that we do on a day to day basis, mm. because that day was set aside for us to communicate and have a good relationship with God. Is us is for us to have to reconnect with God on a very close and and, and uh, intimate intimate area. level. Right, right. So yeah. sometimes you you know you need a tap to tap in, you know, mm -hmm. pull up on mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. So the Sabbath day is there for us to reconnect with God mm -hmm. and tap up. For the next week. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. So it's not a day where I should be just doing my own things and no, just, no, you know. No, no. We would really like to see what here what the online viewers are saying on, on, on this. Um, remember, you need to like the page, you need to share, um, share the page and, and, and bring your comments. Tell us of your comments, you know, um, so that we can, we can um, at least um, share those comments, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can show those comments. We look forward to your comments. Now, now, folks, having said that and that basic understanding, I think we've been we looked at the Sabbath. That's why we are here and we believe it's biblical, right? Tell us. Um, it's it's the time again, the time yeah. of year <laughs> where we come to graduation. It's a it's a it's a hot topic and it's it's something that is trending. It's something that is happening among even uh, Seventh Day Adventist young people yeah. and, and 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 so on. Um, and it's it, we we've seen it increasing. We have institutions that conduct their commencement or the graduation exercises on the Sabbath. Yes. On the Sabbath, yeah, on the Sabbath. And um, people are saying, well, it's nothing wrong. And some say something is wrong with that, you know. And and, and so on. Let's hear. Having said that, um, is it is attending graduation on the Sabbath an activity that Sabbath keepers should partake in? Uh, should partake in. Why? If you, if you don't think so, can you tell us why? And, you know. Graduation is a secular activity. Uh -huh. The Sabbath is sacred. So I don't see how the two mix. Mm -hmm. Putting something so secular and secret. Mm -hmm. And then when you do graduation, you don't really focus on God. Yes, you might say, it's God that take us thus far. Well. But on the day itself, is your accomplishment that, you know, you, you're proud of what you would have done. You know, understand? You're laying your cap on your gold. And it's a proud moment for you. It's yes. a very proud moment for you. Mm -hmm. So your focus is not really on God at that moment. Yes, he might be in the back of your head, but he's not the full point mm -hmm. on that day. Mm -hmm. If I might add to that, um, what is really the graduation ceremony? Mm -hmm. I mean, you would have worked hard, mm -hmm. you'd have studied hard, you'd have had a lot of long nights, a lot of long days, all right, studying, and now you have reached a moment, a, a point in your life where where the institution in which you are attending is ready to give you right, your honor yeah. for that. Um, mm -hmm. The ceremony in of itself is not necessary mm -hmm. for you to receive the reward of your life. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody follows me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, not, it's not absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. All right, so some persons would, what is they graduate in absentia? Mm -hmm. Whether it's on Saturday or not, right? Mm -hmm. They graduate in absentia because they can still receive their honors, they still receive their degrees, mm -hmm. all right, outside of the South. So the ceremony in and of itself is just a celebration, mm -hmm. all right? Um, so I'm saying that I don't think that it's something that is absolutely necess ne necessary, mm -hmm. all right, for individual to attend. In other words, if you, if you decide not to go to the ceremony, you do not lose out on your hard work. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let, 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 let's take a few. Let's weigh in on something. We have Nikisha Alexander joined. Um, um, Glenda Christopher. Oh, Glenda, how are you? Good to hear you. A long time I haven't heard you. So, is the Sabbath um, is sealed with us and God. All right. Nice. Um, Pastor Isado is saying, hey, guys, mm -hmm. as you have shared, the word Sabbath literally means to cease. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you've shared that. Just as God rested from his creation work, 
we are to rest from our day-to-day -day occupation and focus or refocus on what really what really what's really important, important. Yeah. it's a day to push the, the reset, reset button yes all right push the reset and what really important is 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 focusing on god mm -hmm. right focusing on god that was pastor is of those contributions keep your contribution coming but right yes yes what, we're that? talking we're yeah. talking still and remember um should we participate yeah. and, and why but mm -hmm. then the question comes up not sidetracking totally from the what we're discussing because we'll come back in persons mm -hmm. saying um are we being too legalistic now in telling persons what they can and cannot do um should we leave it up to persons to decide on their own are we becoming more like the scribes and the pharisees when we're saying you can go here on the sabbath you can't go there on the sabbath mm -hmm. um you can do this you can attend the wedding um mm -hmm. how would we address things like that because mm -hmm. coming from this program we're actually trying to advise persons on how they should live mm -hmm. but um persons may see it like we're trying to force things down their throat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i could also i could interject just a little um you, okay you're answering or you're yeah okay <laughs> okay start <laughs> right starting us you, off you take right. us to the end oh, okay. <laughs> go on um i think the motive behind what the scribes and pharisees did should be taken into consideration okay. their motive in keeping the sabbath the way they did was mm -hmm. to look good in the eyes yeah. of man mm -hmm. okay so if we take that aspect out mm -hmm. then we we try to impress god basically we try to say god this is all I want to live because you told me this is how to live. Mm -hmm. Not because I want to show everybody right. how holy I am. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to see how God could live his life through me. Okay. And mm -hmm. then through my life, others may see it and want to live, live like God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way the scribes and Pharisees kept the Sabbath was just basically to look good in the eyes of men. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they made the, the, the way to keep the Sabbath so stringent. You can't even walk a certain distance mm -hmm. on the Sunday, they used to tie a little string on the back of them to measure the distance walking on the Sabbath. Okay. They couldn't even carry a handkerchief to wipe their sweat that. because they would say that that's carrying a burden. Okay. They used to tie it onto their, their gum or whatever they had so that they could wipe their sweat. That's not even sanitary, but you know, <laughs> they, 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 they went extreme. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they made it a burden. Mm -hmm. so, um, okay. In, in, in anything, we don't want to be like the scribes and Pharisees in beginning to list things. Mm -hmm. Because what would, what would happen when we begin to list things is that you would have us leaving some things out of the list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So instead of making a list of do this, don't do this, do this, don't do that, right? We must be just guided by the principle Principles. of the yeah. word of God. Yeah. Yeah. The principle and of the word of God. Yes. Going back to what um, mm -hmm. Daniel said. I would have um, attended as you, right? right. Mm -hmm. And in 2012, <laughs> I completed, mm -hmm. but I did not graduate. Right? What I did, I took all my pictures and everything before, because it was done the week of graduation, so I got all my pictures. Any friends that I wanted, we took pictures together. But I didn't <laughs> walk on the okay. Saturday. So you graduated in absentia? Yes. Is that a, 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 yes. something okay. like that? Yes. Yes. Right. Because I was going to share an yes. example or a scenario I knew, I knew yes. personally. Yes. Yes. But but yes. go on, go on. And um, I didn't graduate on the day. Mm -hmm. And basically on the day, you don't even really get the certificate, right? Mm -hmm. You just get a piece of paper. Right. So you still have to go back. <laughs> To actually get this certificate. Oh, let, let, let me just recognize that contribution there by Angel Abraham. Abraham. Yeah. Paul, yeah, we refusing to go to class on Sabbath. But that's an important point. <laughs> but yet we are going to graduation on the same said Sabbath by the same to listen to a validatory address yeah. and fitty address on the same academic things. I don't understand that. And that's a perfect point. Right. And so valid. Right. So we don't, we don't go to classes on Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Because I was going to tell you and I want to say that here because I want you to mm -hmm. start thinking yes. about that. A few things strictly, not to not maybe because we want to hear from you. And thank you very much, Angel. Angel and, and Brittany. Brittany Abraham. That's Brittany it. Abraham, right. So you know Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. But thank you very much for that comment. And keep the comments coming, yeah? Yes. Keep the, we have Kerry and just join. Brittany Ramdin join. Ruth Posse is there. She said, well said, Brother Gamir. Yes. Or Brother yes. Malcolm, yeah? Um, Nikisha Alexander is there. Glenda Christopher is also there. So some new folks. But um, two things I, I was going to say is that um, I, I last year, last year, last year, time runs so fast, but it was last year, yeah. I finished in 2016, but I graduated the master's program in 2017, USC. And we had three students who completed the medical program at St. George's University okay. who graduated at USC. Yes. Now, USC doesn't offer a medical program, okay. but they completed at SGU. Mm -hmm. 
and um, they were on the list. So I was, I was wondering, was you know, so um, because you have you have other other persons from other universities and so on. But these three young doctors right. um, decided that they are not going to go with all that is going on okay. on the Sabbath at SU, but they are going to come down to USC on Sunday when we have the all the work okay. and all the fanfare and all the things and so on, okay. so that they can graduate there. Okay. And they graduated there. I had the opportunity to speak to one of them, just to get an insight, because I wasn't at SU. I say, well, of course, all that is happening there, you know? All that is happening there and, and, and so on doesn't lend itself. You know, it doesn't lend itself. Um, to the Sabbath and, and even the yeah. preparation yeah. before. Yeah. That's what she's telling me. And yeah. so we have decided that we've asked the university so that we can go down to you. And they have a network, you know, whatever yeah. they have, yeah. a memorandum of understanding and so on. And so the persons from the higher organization join and they match and walk and receive the doctoral, you know, yeah. degrees yeah. at USC. I'm just saying that yes. in light of what you mm -hmm. what you're saying. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So so good. All right, so so there's a, there's there's it. So junior. yeah, let's go on. Junior, so yeah. go, junior Ferry is saying, what's the difference with um, the program the conference is having tomorrow at Mount Rose? Mm -hmm. um, that's the elders certification program, mm -hmm. and should we then certify the elders on the Sabbath? Mm -hmm. They say these are the questions that members are asking. Mm -hmm. you know, so what's the, the church's general mm -hmm. position on that? All right, okay. And I also want to add to that question because I had a similar question to that. They said like, okay. USC graduation is three days and mm -hmm. it incorporates the Sabbath as well. Mm -hmm. So they were saying, if USC does it, why is it a problem for, for other people having their graduation on the Sabbath? Mm -hmm. But I think what we're missing is, what does USC do on that Sabbath? On the, day, on the days. They don't have the, the, com the, the, the ceremony itself on that Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. What they, they have is like a, a church service, basically. Exactly. Although they wear the gong and so, it's just praising God and thanking Him for the education that they received at USC. But mm -hmm. it's just a church service they have on that particular day, okay. that Sabbath. Okay. But the graduation ceremony itself is on the is Sunday. On the Sunday. Right. You, would, you could tell me about this. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah because I, I've been in here. Yes, I, and you, can, you can choose the way you go. People choose the way they go on. The, even, I didn't wear my go on Friday okay. and Saturday. Okay. I went like that on Sunday. I put on my go on. Okay. You understand know what I'm saying? I, I just chose to because I didn't want it. I just want to watch. But Friday, certainly Friday and Sabbath are church services. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, they are basically church services. You get a sermon. You get you get everything. The singing and the praising mm -hmm. and thanking God and so. They are strictly church services. Now, with everything, some people could take it to the other. You have to stay focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Know but Sunday is the day. You understand? Know Sunday yeah, is the day yeah, when yeah, you yeah. walk and you receive your diplomas and you do and you take your pictures and all them kind of mm -hmm. things. So there's a difference with what USC does or our Andrews University, for yeah, example, yeah. and our Adventist University and what the other universities yeah, do, right? So back back to uh, back Farid. to June Fari. Mm -hmm. Um and you may want to add yeah. here, but I'm um, answering the question. Good yeah. posture says there is a big a big difference. There's a big difference. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the program is to equip the yeah. elders for service to the church, to the church so, right. as referred to in Paul's council to the church. Okay. That's 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 part. And of course, um, we we train and empower the Sabbath school, for example. Yeah. Is a, is a unit for training, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And equipping for service of God and reflecting and studying things of God. I have to do a presentation tomorrow at that at that elder certification, and the presentation is purely biblical, yeah. and biblical it, and, and 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 so on. As we bring people together for a particular okay. emphasis, it is, but yeah. it's biblical. Uh, it's not anything that I'm going to do the PowerPoint. I have it in my head. I have some of them in my head and so on. Biblical, we're looking at Peter. We're looking at Paul in the New Testament and a number of other things as we help all uh, see from the from the from the from the Bible. Um, and 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 so I believe the other presentations and and so I've done presentation for this elder certification too that is strictly focused on 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 Bible and helping us to understand. That and I've been at the elder certification programs and. Basically, what is done, you have different presentations based on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. So it's as if it's different sermons, mm -hmm. all right, for the different different um, sessions that we would have. Mm -hmm. And we have to be very careful when we say that because just now you might hear a person saying, we shouldn't train on Sabbath either, mm -hmm. so yeah. the preacher shouldn't preach. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so we have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 um, the principle yeah. 
all right, is that whatever is being done must be God focused. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I would add to that oh. by saying um, the nature of what you're doing, and um, I think um, Ruth would have made mention to that. What is the intention? And mm -hmm. you brought across that again. The, the mm -hmm. way described in the Pharisees were keeping the Sabbath. What was the intent? Mm -hmm. The certification program. What is the intent? Does it take away from from God? The, the Sabbath is, a, the is Sabbath. a spiritual. Mm -hmm. Um, um, issue mm -hmm. and what is being done there is spiritual in nature. Mm -hmm. The graduation focus on self and my accomplishments mm -hmm. and what have I done, mm -hmm. right? So when you look at the programs that the church um, may um, have on Sabbath, right? If we go through it or dissect it, you will see that the nature of it is one that will be uplifting God or training persons to mm -hmm. do the very same thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, however, it Palmer is, um, it's, it's Bob's Palmer, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he says, I think that everything we do is based on choice. Mm -hmm. We are all given free will. Therefore, if a person chooses to go to graduation or graduate on a Sunday, that's between them and God. Well, I, I want to <laughs> so, comment. I want to comment. And we, okay, okay. <laughs> we don't want to take out everything, but of course, we are here or the, the word of God as we establish uh -huh. for yeah. give certain guidelines okay. and certain guidelines that, that are very important for us, for, for God's people, mm -hmm. especially in these, in these end times. Yeah, but yeah. if I could just underscore it again. Mm -hmm. Um, now, if we realistically think about what happens on a graduation day, yeah. all right, it's about the individual. Mm -hmm. It's not about God. Talking about the picture taken and how good you look and how you walk when you go and receive the, um, the, 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 um, the certificate and all of that. It's all about the individual. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mostly about the individual. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, to help us. Now, of course, we cannot tell persons what to do. Mm -hmm. And in the final analysis, it's your choice. Your choice yes. But we're going to tell you what the Bible says. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in Isaiah, that's right. Nice. Dan is saying, can you explain Isaiah 58, 13? Mm -hmm. All right. And that's the text I had in mind. Isaiah 58, 13 um, gives us some good um, instruction, a good counsel. Yes. Yeah. And if I might just repeat it again, because we had it in the quiz. In the quiz yeah. It says, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from yeah. doing thy pleasure, God is speaking, on my mm -hmm. God's holy day, all right? Call the Sabbath a delight, the mm -hmm. holy of the Lord, honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, mm -hmm. nor speaking mm -hmm. thine mm -hmm. own words. Mm -hmm. All right? And that is the essence of Sabbath, keeping there. That is the essence of the principle that should guide yes. all our activities as relates to the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. All right, let's hear what Ruth says. I, I know people think again that, that, don't go to, that don't go to church on that day. Mm -hmm. they, don't go, they, don't, they don't go to church because that graduation has consumed yeah, yeah. everything. Right? Yeah. But let, let me tell you, the, Ruth says, although persons have a choice, we have to help persons to make right choice, like the Hebrew boys, to stand for Jesus at the end of the day. What will it profit us if we gain the whole world mm. and lose our souls? All right, thank you very much, Ruth. Um, um, Ruth pursue and Sharon Fortune is there. Amen, Ruth. She says, <laughs> Amen, Ruth. So you have uh, some Dolisha Lambert Henry yeah, says, I agree with Ruth. Yes. Right? So Ruth, you see, my boy, you're making points, you know. All right. Yes. So, 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 so that's it. But we can go on. Let's let's see with the rest of the time. Let's let's talk about the balls now. Okay. All right. And we could we could bring the two together and sum up later on. Um, let's talk about the balls, graduation balls. Yeah. Now, now you you guys might be in a better position than I am. <laughs> um, I, 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 I remember the last time, the last time um, when I graduated, um, what, what they call ball, you know? That's different kind of thing. Well, well, no, even then it was, it was, it was a kind of, you know? Um, then, um, reverie, we use that word, we mm -hmm. use that word in, 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 the, in the quiz, yeah? yeah? We use that word in the quiz. Um, anybody remember what what it what it? Anybody yes, knows? New international what version. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the exact text, but I think um, what did um, the people do when Iran went up to the mountain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was an exodus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we asked what was the word that mm -hmm. um, would have described what they were doing, and it was reverie. Yeah. And when you look at that um, situation in, in deeper, they say they rose up to play. Mm -hmm. And when you look at what and really happened and what they consider play, I mean, those people took off their clothes, yeah, they were dancing, okay, yeah. and they were doing all kinds of madness. Yeah. Drinking so just the, and, and making the, mm -hmm. the environment is one that would that can get that out of you mm -hmm. and persons may innocently try to attend events like that thinking that mm -hmm. they're just going to socialize with their friends but once the music beats and caribbean people have away once the drum beat yeah. it gets you to move mm -hmm. and you may not go there with that intention but when you get there you may find yourself engaged in things that um you, you shouldn't and the very fact that you can um compromise what you believe in mm -hmm. by going there shows that the area is not out of the place is not one that you should attend in the first place mm -hmm. yeah so the, the balls um looking at it and i would have um attended a ball well not attended but went, to, went, to pick up, <laughs> <laughs> went to pick up someone for a ball but right. i did attend a, I was, a ball when i was um 
at TAMCC first mm-hmm. year. That mm-hmm. was even long before I was an apprentice. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't tell you what transpired in that. <laughs> 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 nah. right, but um, not too long ago, maybe about a year ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, primary school I'm talking about. I went to pick up a, a young lady from a primary school ball. Mm-hmm. And the, the music school. that was primary school, they have balls now. Yeah, they have to the yeah, <laughs> the, the get together. And the, the types of music that was being played. Right. And the, the children are singing after it. Who want to do this to this? And, I mean, you know mm-hmm. the music that, that, that plays mm-hmm. in those type of things. I mean, talking about young children and how they were behaving. Yeah. And there's some of them, the parents are right there, and it's almost like they're encouraging it. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the atmosphere is not one where uh, an Adventist parent should want his or her child to be. Um, the music is not the, 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 the gyration that takes place among young persons. What are you training them to be or, or what do you want from them? And then four years down the line, when they, they decide they want to leave church because they like that, that lifestyle outside it, because if they gravitate towards that, mm-hmm. we have um, encouraged them mm-hmm. to behave like that because we have sent them into these areas that are breaking down the same standards that we are trying to instill in them in church. So I think it's a very dangerous trend to set. So, so um, along the same line, that was I was going to say, I have not attended a ball, you know, um, but I passed close to where they're having <laughs> balls. No, I, I tell you, um, right. as a minister, of course, you, I travel, and sometimes the night of the ball, for example, um, you know, I wouldn't want to call in St. In St. Patrick's, there's a place, nice road, you pass there, and, heard, um, and, 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 and they say, oh, that secondary school is having, that's, tonight is their ball. I say, what's here, what's going on, all this, tonight is their ball. And then you can stay in the road as you, and hear the music, yeah, 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 yeah. the music that is pounding, and the music that is playing mm-hmm. for um, 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 school, school children, you know, activity, yeah. because it's also, and most times they use it as a fundraising activity yeah, too. That's what I understand. Yeah. I also understand, I know of a particular institution, I know if all that had to, wanted to issue handbands yeah. for, for, the, for, the, for the young people so that they would not purchase, they cannot go to purchase the alcohol at the bar. So if they see them with the handband, they wouldn't sell for them. Right. But of course, there are other ways. But what we're saying is that all of that, you know, I just use all of that because I'm not there, I'm not, you know, so you, yeah. you tell us, you know. Um, um, let, let's hear what Dolisha says. What Dolisha says, they, um, Gabriel, tell Henry, us. Yeah, she's saying, um, I went to Mount Rose SDA, so that wasn't a problem for me. Mm-hmm. We have clean fun there. Sure. Send your children to good Christian sure. <laughs> sure. So that that was that was there. Uh, she went to Mount Rose SDA yeah. secondary so, school, right? So, so it seems as if Mount Rose has some kind of a ball. Yeah. But a different yeah, kind of a nice yeah. right. yeah. so clean. Well I was not privileged to go to Mount Rose SDA school. Mm-hmm. But I went to GBSS and these two went also to GBSS. <laughs> right. okay. So they know what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Usually GBSS has a dinner first and then the ball, ball afterwards. Mm-hmm. So what we did, a few of my SDA friends and I, we went to the dinner, sat down, we nice formal setting, set right. brush up the tie, exactly. there, nice jackets and so on. Good. Ate, got our food, and then went was time for the ball. We left and had our own fun somewhere else. We went to a dinner. A, a restaurant mm-hmm. and we just hang nice. there and not a, <laughs> and, and but not to eat it was like around a pool setting so we just hang there and talk for the whole night oh, very okay. nice but right. it wasn't to eat again okay. so. but i mean you could go to a secular school you don't mm-hmm. i mean not everybody will be able to attend the mount rose every school mm-hmm. so it's your choice to go to that bar setting if you want to mm-hmm. and you need to stand for god mm-hmm. regardless because you know when you stand for god God stands for you. Mm-hmm. I could also give an um, uh, a example of how I stood for God and God actually stood for me. Mm-hmm. We had um, this exam on Friday evening in college, Tam CC, where we have lab quiz at the end of the, the semester. Mm-hmm. And it was from 5.30 to 6.30 mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. the Friday evening. So it's an hour-long exam, and I was saying, oh boy, could I do this exam in 30 minutes before that sunset in my mind? Because I needed to pass this exam, obviously, to get mm-hmm. a good grade. Mm-hmm. So I started and started, and I was halfway through the exam, which was very close to sunset. It was like 10 minutes to sunset. <laughs> so I said, no, I would not be able to finish the exam. So what I did, I spoke to the, the man, and I told him that, Sir, I'm sorry, I'm a Seventh Adventist, like you know throughout the whole semester, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't be able to do the exam, finish the exam. So he said, sure, you can't, you can't just finish. I said, is about to sun, sun about to set, so I, I, I can't stay. Yeah. So I gave my paper up and I left. Next day, next week, the Monday, he came to the class and said, 
exam was squashed, everybody got full marks. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, so when you stand for God, God <laughs> usually does come true for you because He knew that I needed that degree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, wonderful. Right. Going back to the whole mm-hmm. history of graduation, Bob, mm-hmm. it's unfortunate, right? Because some ch- most students from Wednesday and some from one talking about graduation and more mm-hmm. and it's just unfortunate that some how it is now mm-hmm. it you cannot attend because it's like you're going on party mm-hmm. you pay a fee to come in it's open some it's open to the general public mm-hmm. so people can come in you know it's come like a fundraising you yeah. know a money yeah. making thing mm-hmm. and it's no I, I kind of feel for children like that mm-hmm. and you see not everybody will be able to go to this school like I did I didn't have that problem <laughs> But it's unfortunate because that's something that they look forward to, you know, mm-hmm. to spending that final moment with their friends. Mm-hmm. And it's just unfortunate that how the whole graduation ball and everything has turned now that it makes it difficult mm-hmm. for, for them to attend. Uh, yeah. well, there, 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 there's a, there's a, a passage of scripture I want us to just look at mm-hmm. so somebody could get it in the meantime. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Romans 12 and verse 2. Mm-hmm. Um, you could do 1 and 2, you know. Um, you can you can read that there, you know. Just read that there. It says, um, "I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm-hmm. And be not confirmed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds, mm-hmm. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God." Right. Amen. Very nice. Very nice. And some of the things that we have described, um, you know. Um, from those balls and some of those things. Um, being in such environment does not promote more that transform mind. Yeah? It's, 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 a, it's a challenge. We gotta be careful because um, um, slowly, I'm noticing, slowly, slowly and slowly and little by little, um, the evil one is putting all those things in front of us. And then we are, we are, we are, we are moving, you know, slowly. It doesn't happen one link, but gradually. And by the time we know it, if we're not careful, Gamer, we on the other side. Definitely. Right? We on the other side. We have to be very, 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 very careful. Yeah, but I want right? to just say, um, you know, after the long five years especially, mm-hmm. um, sometimes young people think that they just want to just one night pasta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not just for one night. Maybe just let us just let Lego and just enjoy oh, myself and, you know. But that's a very dangerous practice. One night, one thing. night, one night, <laughs> yeah. one night, one night. One night. It could be very, very, very well. dangerous. And let me just yeah. say, mm-hmm. um your friends, you might want to enjoy the time with your friends and so. And it's a very good thing. You know, if these persons are really your friends, mm-hmm. they are going to respect you and what you stand for. Right. All right. So you will not be a part of certain things and you have to make that plain to the person that you're not going to stand for it. All right. And invite them to some other setting because it is good to celebrate. It's good to go out and chill, but not in the way that it's being done at each graduation about when the lights go off and the music starts up yeah. and all this. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What I, what I would... Um want to bring our thoughts to word is that if we look at it closely as we draw closer to that end and I really do feel that we're very close to the end it's I don't want to call it a trick of the devil but it's played out in a way that we are forced as Seventh-day Adventist Christians to partake in things that are not of a spiritual nature um, how I would say it like that look at all the, the major events they are not necessarily bad events it's events that you can attend to on a, norm, um, on a normal day mm-hmm. but because it's placed on the Sabbath um, we find it to be a compromise. And so parents may want to send the children, for example, Christmas time, they have the toys giving um, around that time and they put it on a, on a Sabbath. Mm-hmm. And parents might say, oh, my child is going for some toys. They, some of them can't wait for the sunset, they rush out. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with going for the toys, but because it's being distributed on the Sabbath. Um, look at the graduation. You no, know, we children go to school Monday to Friday. Why are you putting a graduation on a Saturday? So these things are being done in a way, and slowly persons find themselves being pressured to allowing them children or them, you know, themselves attending these things. but it comes back to the transformation again mm-hmm. we have to know what is priority um to us right priority to our, our growth spiritual development and also our salvation and if these things compromise what we believe in unfortunately as um, you said we just cannot attend and we have to look at it like that right very nice let's let's take a pin let's let's see we have some online viewers there who are with us tyrone um we have olan king Brittany. um she's with us um Shanice is there you know um, 
Livingston first a pleasant Sabbath Feliz Sabbath from, from Cuba. Cuba. Okay. Cuba. Right. Cuba. Cuba. Livingston Fraser from Cuba. Cuba right. in the house. He's actually studying medicine in Cuba right now. Oh, you he's from Grenada yeah. studying med. Oh, he's right, from right. GBSS. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, guys, stand up. You know, stand up and do what is right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Do what is right. Do what is right. Who else do we have? Um, who else do we have? Right. Um, share uh, share Sharon Fortune. Fortune. What she says, um, what she says, what she we says. We should not be sending our children to worldly things on the Sabbath, period. It's a huge problem here in the U.S. So it's she's like, looking at her, her environment toy. and she's sure. seeing it's a problem and she's advising us um, here that we should not be sending our children to worldly things to worldly on the Sabbath. Yeah. Because, because, because yeah, and, and that's my, that's my, that's my concern I'm, I'm noticing, you know, because it's, it starts with one step. Yes. Break down as you and then and as you go along you you don't see any problem with it i could yeah. take the next step yeah. Yeah. and i could take the next step creeping and as you observe the creeping compromise boy yes you are bright <laughs> <laughs> and blood, you, know, yeah. Yeah. you know yeah that, that, that kind of thing you yes, know yes. that kind of describes it and that 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 moving in right that moving in folks well boy time i tell you time yeah, is moving runs, and runs. we got to wrap up in a while you know we want to also have a little prayer session we want to pray for and tell us we want to pray for a few things we want to also, also pray for young people that they will stand up and 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 so on so in the next you know three minutes that we have you're you're, you're wrapping up thoughts as we bring it together relating to the sabbath um, um graduation and it's something that i know we we open a can of worms eh? yeah, yeah. a can of worms some people you know a bit we go in mild on it but we know that we'll have follow-up and there'll be other discussions yeah, on yeah. this you know but what we are saying is you gotta stand up but you're, you're wrapping up thoughts in in brief you know um, um comments you know as we as we seek to bring it home as we talk about pause and so Gami. yeah um well, of course, we must be guided by the Word of God in anything mm -hmm. that we do. Mm -hmm. The Word of God, let it be our guide. Mm -hmm. And we have that text in Philippians 4, 8, yeah. that, that we can always look back to it. Anything we want to participate uh -huh. in. Mm -hmm. All right? And let that be one of the texts that we that help us to, to guide our thoughts. So mm -hmm. whatsoever things are good, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are perfect, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are of good report, meaning that after it has been done, you can go and report on it. It's a good thing. God yes. will smile on you, mm -hmm. right? After you would have participated in it. Think mm -hmm. on these things and yes. practice these things. Mm -hmm. That's one of the texts that can help us, you know, as we consider the things that we should be involved in. Right. Yeah. Nice. yeah, Judy Best says, stand up, stand up strong. Yeah. Thank you, Judy. That is strong like that. <laughs> yeah. Travis, you. All right. So I would like to say, once you love the Lord, you want to do everything that would please him. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what the devil or the woman threw at you, once you love the Lord, you decipher whether mm, God would not want me to do this. And I love God so much. I wouldn't want to do that and mm -hmm. displease him. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So just follow what God says by loving him. And trust me, everything will fall into place. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will guide you into every single truth inside the word of God. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Geraldine. As with everything, we have our choice. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So once you have that relationship with God, certain things certain events you don't have to think about it mm -hmm. you know that okay that is not what is ex expected of me god would not like that mm -hmm. and i would not feel good about it mm -hmm. with my own self mm -hmm. so it's all about choice and i would encourage every young people day by day to study build on your relationship with god and who know your life might just be a testimony to somebody so, else yes, never yeah. know who's looking at you right very nice Jordan. Um, what i would say is um we are all preparing for a graduation um, which is greater than any on yes. earth, mm -hmm. and that is graduation from mortal and corrupt flesh Definitely. into perfect um, mm -hmm. beings. And mm -hmm. we are aspiring to salvation, which is the greatest graduation yeah. ceremony anyone can have. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when we wait to see our Lord and Savior Jesus face to face, we will have a grand ball. We yeah. always yeah. say we have a grand time up in heaven. Yeah. Right. But we know while we are here on earth, we would have to make sacrifices to graduate here on earth. Mm -hmm. And likewise, we, may have to, we will have to make sacrifices to enter the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And we know that there are some things, um, brethren and friends, we just cannot do as much as we may want to take part in them, we have to make these sacrifices so that we can attend the, the greater graduation, which is yeah. salvation. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to take our last comment from, from, from Ruth Posio. Um, wonderful comments. Keep it up, folks. Strong and standing. She says, we have to stand now. Oh, yeah. Very soon, the issue of worship will be our final test. Yes. If we don't stand now, uh, we will not yes. stand yes. then. Yes. The word of God should be our okay. guide. I think yeah. that is yes. so perfect yes. for... Our, one of our online viewers. Folks, thank you very much. The Sabbath, in conclusion, the Sabbath, 
this is designed in 24 hour period preserved for the glory and adoration of god he established that for sacred time at the end of creation and so we should try to observe in everything that we do um, there is a difference between the sacred and the secular, secular yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and the spiritual and the secular. And God in his infinite wisdom created it for our rest, for our benefit. Yes. And whatever we do should should bring honor and, and, glory. and, and, and glory to him. Yeah. Yeah. And then as we sum up there, there, there as Christians, as we try to imitate the life of Christ and live out his life, we must remember there are some things we cannot participate in. We cannot be in the world and, 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 and participate, you know, we have to, there must be a clear distinction. We have to stand up, you know, by the grace of God. And so graduation balls do not promote a lifestyle of a Christian. Hello. What we are seeing, it doesn't promote the lifestyle of a Christian. A Christian should be chased and abstaining from attractions of the world as far as possible. Yeah. Right? We hope tonight we have um, helped somebody. Yeah. Um, that's not the end of the discussion. And we could not have said all yeah. tonight. But of course, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's certainly something that would help you know, us to think about yeah. those things. Yeah. What yeah. we do yeah. as we continue on our young people. Right? Well, we want to promote um, what we've spoken of tonight and much more can be found in this beautiful book yes. Yes. beautiful yes. book what, what, what's the name messages, messages to young, young people. people messages to young people yes. yeah. yeah dragon you have one yes boss. you have one jerilyn yes. uh, make sure you <laughs> have it hard copy yeah you gotta make sure you can show you get one yeah. Yeah. messages to young people it's a beautiful book i've read it over and over so a number of the things that we'll be in terms of exposing the principles yeah, yeah, yeah. um of those and how we should observe the summer what we should do the sort of recreation we should engage in all yeah. these inside your principles it's a wonderful book messages to young people because ultimately young people god is interested in everything that you do yes. yeah. he's interested in your well-being and he's interested ultimately in your salvation, salvation. Yeah. in saving you his mission is to save you he wants to save you so may God help you, uh, each one of us. May God bless you and may you seek his guidance every day mm -hmm. in every decision so that you will exercise that choice and to choose what is right mm -hmm. and pleasing in the sight of God yeah. mm -hmm. as you serve him here. You know, God bless you, right? God bless you. Well, thank you very much. We want to end this is as far yes. as we can take you tonight yes. as we, you know, want to end with a special prayer tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, for our young people, Gamera, you know, as a young man, I want to ask you to do that prayer for us, yeah. right? Um, pray for our young people who are still battling, you know, yeah. um, with those sort of situations. And tonight, God will really help them to stand up, yeah? yeah? Stand up and stand up strong for Him by the grace of God, yeah? yeah he definitely. Able, if He has done it for others, He can do it for us, all right? All right. Okay. And then some prayer requests coming in. Though. Sorry, some prayer requests coming in? Yeah, yeah. 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 all right. So just keep on typing your prayer requests and mm -hmm. as we pray, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit will receive those and right. persons that are seeing the requests, we can all pray together. Right. Um, so just wherever you are, just bow your heads with me, type, uh -huh. send the requests in uh -huh. and let us pray. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Tonight, oh God, once again, we thank you so much for having us here. We can come, we can discuss more of your word, we can learn more of what it is that you expect of us. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Father, for the awesome you know, privilege that we have. Mm -hmm. But God, tonight, Father, tonight, we thank you so much for all of your blessings toward us. Tonight, yes. Father, there are some of us, Father, that are in need of different things. Mm -hmm. Father, just as our faces differ, some of our names differ, mm -hmm. so does our needs. And you know that, Father, because you know, Father, the very amount of hair we have on mm -hmm. our head, mm -hmm. each of us individually. Yes, and you Lord. care about each and every one of us, oh God, as if we were the only person alive on mm -hmm. this planet. Mm -hmm. And so I ask you, even at this time tonight, oh God, that you will grant unto us the request that we have tonight mm -hmm. according to your riches in glory. Yes. Yes. Father, some persons are requesting different things, mm -hmm. but you know they are. Father, some of them might be financial. Yes. Some of them, Father, uh, might be because mm -hmm. they're dealing with some kind of a stressful situation, yes. might be in the home, in the family, at the workplace, or whatever it may be tonight, oh God, we know that your hand is not too short, that mm -hmm. it cannot reach forth, Father, and touch yes, and Lord. intervene please, in please that tonight. situation tonight, yeah, so that Lord. persons may have deliverance, yes, persons Lord. may receive victory, yes. persons, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. might uh, open their hearts to you and mm -hmm. receive more of you, so that you can live in them and let yes. your life uh, be lived out in and through them. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, Father God, we lift each one to you, and we yes. pray, O oh God, that you will uh, just minister unto each need according to your, yes. your desire, according as your will shall be tonight. O oh, Father, we praise you, Father, that we remember those 
those that are uh, mourning the loss, Father, of their loved ones tonight. Mm -hmm. Draw close to them, O yes. Spirit of the living God, the Comforter. Mm -hmm. uh, comfort their hearts and help them to be able to deal with this, the, 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 the whole trauma, mm -hmm. uh, Father, and be very close to them in such a way that they will feel your, your presence. Yes. As you have said, yes. I will never yes. leave Please, you Lord. nor forsake you. Please, tonight, O God, strengthen your people. Yes. Father, even in, in light of our discussion tonight, yes. Father, young persons, even at this time, are faced with a lot of uh, temptations, a lot of different situations situations um, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's, it's, it's very hard to to disengage and to pull back mm -hmm. from some of the things that the world is offering but father the one who is in you father god greater you say in your word is he that is within us than mm -hmm. he that is in the world yes. and so i pray tonight that you will continue to empower and strengthen father even by the the power of your holy spirit that individuals young persons father even older ones as well i pray tonight god that you will uh, continue to strengthen them and let them father cling to your word and the yes, principles father. of your word perhaps there's something we discussed tonight that raised a question mm -hmm. to somebody they may not be um, watching it live tonight but they will come back at some other point and look at the production and tonight i ask you in the name of jesus that you will speak to hearts yes. and help oh god that they will continue to study your word mm -hmm. and continue to allow your blessings to flow upon each and every one of us mm -hmm. we thank you so much tonight for your blessings upon us we thank you tonight for granting us the request that we have yes. or we ask it and we present it in none other name mm -hmm. but in the name of jesus amen. 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 amen thank you very much folks thank you very much and next week oh boy you can't miss next week next week is going to be you hear the laughing you know, it's going to be the, and we we, we got to be talking about sex next week next week next week we're going to be talking about sex i'm really telling you yes. um you know we're going to have a special guest again yeah. special guest we're going to be talking folks thank you very much for being here tonight and for your we will also thank um alan for being with us earlier on and you're going to hear much more of him during the week so thank you very much thank you for staying with us and mm -hmm. remember to continue to watch youth life and to continue to pray for the program and um, join us next week same time same place mm -hmm. when we'll continue with another youth life until then yeah. God bless you. Lessons up. i
shine a light to a darkened world And always live your truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love